Let's look at a couple acids reacting with each other. So here's acid HA1, just a generic acid, and HA2, generic acid. They have pKa's where the pKa1 is less than pKa2. So what's true for the reaction HA1 reacting with the conjugate base A2? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, K is less than 1 because weak acids are reacting that have Ks less than 1. B, two weak acids are reacting, so they will form an equilibrium where K is 1. Or C, HA1 is the stronger acid, so the reaction will favor products K greater than 1. Think about those three and make a selection. We're looking at two weak acids reacting together, HA, the weak acid, reacting with the conjugate base of HA2. Now, in this case, we were told pKa1 was less than pKa2. That means acid HA1 is the stronger acid. A smaller pKa, stronger acid. So HA1 is the stronger acid, so if it's a HA1 versus HA2, which will have the higher concentration in solution? Well, HA1 is the stronger acid. It will dissociate more than HA2. So we should expect here that the reactant concentrations, HA1 will force this in this direction because HA1 is the stronger acid. So force towards the products, a K bigger than 1. In this case, KA1 larger than KA2. And you could do this analytically, and I encourage you to do that. Write out the acid equilibrium expressions. Prove to yourself that if I write this acid equilibrium expression, I can show because HA1 is the stronger acid, the overall K will be greater than 1. HA1, stronger acid, forces this towards products. That's a K larger than 1.